First thing you want to do is go and download the Insta360 Studio to your computer. Once it's installed, open it up, turn on your camera, and then connect it to your computer. This should automatically pop up an import menu, but if you're not seeing your camera open up and it's not connecting to your computer, I have another video that might solve your problem. You can watch it clicking the card on one of these sides. Otherwise, just click import all. Once it's done its thing, you can scroll through the side and view all of the videos you've taken. You can select them by clicking them. I'm going to click these and then scroll down a bit and shift click to select all the ones in between. But let's say I don't like these two here. I'm just gonna hold command and click. That'll remove the selection. And I'm happy with this selection. Let's export it. With the ones you want highlighted, go down to this little yellow button and click it. This will pop up an export menu. Go over to export 360 video because we're gonna be able to do all our 360 edits and reframing within Final Cut Pro. Change where you wanna export them to. I like to keep it at the original resolution, but you can change it to wherever you want. For the bit rate, I keep it at the recommended high. For the encoding format, I keep it at H.264, but you can change it to whichever one you want. ProRes is gonna be huge files. Then they have some effects. I keep the flow state stabilization on. It keeps all my footage smooth, but if you don't want that, remove it. And then hit start export. This will take a little bit depending on which settings you choose and how many videos you have. But once it's done, you can pretty much close out or minimize this studio and then open up Final Cut Pro. With a new Final Cut Pro library, create a new project, name it whatever you want, and then select the resolution. I'm going to go with 1080p and then import your footage into the project like any other time. Because it recognizes that it's 360 footage, it opens up a new little sub menu in the inspector. This will allow you to change the field of view from the default 90 and then click and drag any of the tilt pan or roll settings to adjust your orientation. Or you can go down here to the transform button and click orientation. And this will allow you to actually click on the screen and move around using your mouse. And if you want that unique 360 tiny planet view, you can go to normal and click tiny planet instead. And that's the basics of how you import your X3 360 video into Final Cut Pro if this helped. Drop a like.